Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, welcome to Let's Cook With Elle. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I create this delicious, amazing tilapia fish. It's very, very easy to follow. And I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how I made this. So do watch this video to the end so you can find out. So if you did like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So without further ado, and let's get it started. I'm going to jump straight into it. So what I'm going to do is blend the ingredients that I have. Right here I've got one small onion. I'm just chopping it just to make it easy to um, to blend really. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just put it in the blender. And I'm also going to chop the spring onion. So all my vegetables are already washed. I'm just jumping straight into it. For the list of every ingredient I'm gonna be using are in the description box below. And I'll go through the measurements throughout the video. So yeah. Right guys, I'm also going to add one scotch bonnet. This is optional. If you don't like spicy food, I'm adding three cloves of garlic, the big ones. And I had this um, ginger in the freezer. So I chopped it like a while ago. So I'm just gonna put it all in there. Yeah. Just add the quantity that you like. I'm also going to add the chicken stock in there. Add that in there. Add half a teaspoon of um, black pepper corn. A teaspoon of coriander. A tablespoon of olive oil to mix it all together a little bit of water just to make it easy to blend and I've squeezed one lemon juice adding that in there as well close it and this is going to be blended nicely Basically just blend it until it's nice and um, smooth like this, okay? Show you how it looks like. This is the consistency, okay? This is nice, you guys. Okay guys, so I've got three tilapia fish here, already washed with lemon juice. I score it, I score it so it can marinate properly, as you can see, and I also pat it dry. So we're just gonna get a mixture and pour it in. Uh, don't put everything, I, I would suggest you leave the remaining just to brush it in uh, as you go when you, um, you're grilling it. So it's all nice. So this way, if it don't get dry, everything's good, you okay? So basically just coat it in and make sure it gets inside as well, not just on the outside. Also make sure it gets in, okay? So I'm just leaving just a little bit aside so I'm gonna keep coating it while uh, it's grilling. So add it in like this. In the head as well because I love eating it. <laughs> fish head. If you do as well, in there. <laughs> Some people just discard it, but I like to eat the head as well. I really like to chew the bones. You know, that's just what I like to do. So make sure it's all in nicely okay. so once you mix everything together you can go ahead and add salt to taste um, add salt according to your liking and what I like to do here as well just to make it a little bit spicy I'm gonna add a bit of um, chili flakes I'm not adding too much just about half a teaspoon of chili flakes Many on the outside, I like it on the outside more. I then add a bit of all pepper seasoning. So 
added a bit more all-purpose seasoning on the inside. Just rub it in. Oh, this one didn't make it. <laughs> it didn't make it, it didn't blend, oh well. So just keep rubbing everything, rubbing everything. I'm going to add just a little bit of thyme, not too much, just a little, little, little bit, like not a lot. Is it just me or thyme has like a minty flavour? <laughs> it has this minty flavour. I wish I had nutmeg. I don't have nutmeg. If you do have nutmeg, I'll suggest you add some nutmeg as well. It's really, really good with tilapia fish. I use it a lot. I actually ran out. And I actually went shopping today, I forgot to buy it, but it's completely fine. Just mix it in, mix it in, make sure inside is nice and marinated, it's not um, dry. Make sure there's something in there. Okay, so I'm happy with this, so I'm going to cover it with clean fill and I'm going to leave it in the fridge to marinate for an hour. You can leave it overnight, but I'm going to eat this today, so I'm leaving it to do. So I'm leaving it to marinate for an hour, so... The longer you leave it, the better it marinates properly. Um, yeah, an hour or overnight is up to you. At least an hour is a good time to let it marinate um, properly. So. Okay, so now it's been about two hours since it's been marinating. So I'm just adding some olive oil, the baking sheet straight. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this, this way it doesn't stick. I don't know if um, I can just bake it like this without putting the oil. I actually never baked uh, fish with the oven sheet. I usually just put it directly into the tray or foil, but this is just handy for me these days. So I'm just placing the fish there, as you can see. Okay. Into the tray. Getting some seasoning on top. Like I said before, guys, um, the other seasoning, the remaining, we leave it aside uh, just in case that like, you need to coat it. So this way, it avoids it from getting dry. I suggest you add a bit of oil um, if you like, just to to avoid it from getting dry. So I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil um, on top of it, and this, as it cooks, is just going to spread everywhere so yeah so I'm putting this in the oven at 119 degrees 190 degrees and I'm gonna cook it on both sides make sure you check it every now and then and also turn it over and uh, yeah I'm gonna cook it until it's done so okay guys so I just turned them over I'm just gonna get my brush and then just get the the blended ingredients just add just a little bit like I said um, only do it if it's dry and the remaining what you can do you can just fry it or put it in the oven for a little bit with olive oil or fry it with olive oil and um, you can have it like a you know like a dip like a dip so you just put it back in the oven till it's cooked to your liking so I fried the remaining with olive oil and I added a bit more <laughs> scotch bonnet just to make it extra spicy so you can have this aside with your tilapia it is just super delicious and here you go guys it's ready to eat i've served it with um asparagus avocado and salad and look how beautiful this is guys it's so delicious i hope you guys enjoy this recipe i hope you try it and let me know what you think of it it's really late <laughs> i finished my dinner really really late today because i was meal prepping um it's almost midnight so i don't want to eat something too heavy so this is why i'm serving it with uh you can go ahead and serve it with rice you can serve it with um, plantain anything you like and you guys please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll speak to you all on my next video bye